What's going on guys? Thank you for watching JG Tech Blog and for today's video I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Alcatel One Touch Fierce XL that just came out and the LG G Stylo. Off the bat you guys can see this is $69 after rebates and savings while this is $149. These prices can change absolutely today's November 3rd so prices can change later on. Uh, original price is at $139 compared to $249. The screen size of the phone, this is a 5.5 inch display, high definition, while this is a 5.7 inch display. So already you have a bigger screen here. That doesn't necessarily mean the LG G Stylo wins in that aspect because a lot of people don't really like a lot a bigger phone. I personally might go with this screen size than a 5.7 just because I like to use uh, one hand usually and this actually feels better in the hand than this while it's more bulky. And again, this is just your preference, whatever you like. Some people might like this a little bit more because they uh, they watch a lot of movies on Netflix and whatnot. Um, it'll look more uh, look look bigger on the screen. Although doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be more clear. This is actually rocking at 258 uh, PPI pixels per inch, while this is actually rocking at 267 uh, pixels per inch. So in that aspect, the resolution this is better. Uh, this is going to be more clear if you're watching any videos, although this is going to be a bigger screen. Okay, in terms of the size, this is 5.98 inches, while this is 6.7 inches. But the weight is the greatest difference. This is weighing at 6.10 ounces, while this is 5.8 ounces. So that's a huge difference right here. This thing is heavy. <laughs> this is going to be really bulky to carry around, although it is uh, smaller in size. Another thing is it comes at the shape price because of the way they made it. It's pretty um, cheaply made. It's just plastic. The finish on it is okay. It's, the design looks nice, but it's not as good as the um, the LG. The LG right here is rocking the volume buttons in the back. The uh, titanium finish on the back is really nice with the flash. So in that in aspects of design, the LG G Stylo wins. And also, don't forget it has that uh, stylo, stylo pen in the... Uh, on the top. In terms of hardware, this has a Snapdragon 210 chipset with a CPU of quad core 1.1 gigahertz, while this has a Snapdragon 410 and a 1.2 gigahertz quad core uh, processor. So, in terms of hardware, this is going to be a much faster phone. Even when you're playing games, when you're watching movies, you won't see or realize any lag. This will keep going without any problems. So, a much powerful processor right here, double the size of the, sh the chipset that's in the Alcatel One Touch Fierce. In terms of memory, this has a two gigabyte RAM, same as this, 16 gigabyte internal memory, same as the LG Stylum, and it's upgradable to 32 gigabytes, also same as the um, LG G Stylum. So in that aspect, they both come to a draw. In terms of the camera, this has an eight megapixel camera in the back with the two megapixel in the front. It shoots in 1080p at 30 frames per second. LG G Style on the other hand is rocking a 13 megapixel camera in the back with a 5 megapixel front camera which is really clear and if you're doing a lot of selfies, if you're doing a lot of Instagram, uh, Snapchat photos from the front camera, this will be a perfect for, for you. So in terms of camera, this is a much better camera than the Alcatel One Touch. Um, the battery, this is has a Two, I think it was 2,500 milliamps battery while this has a 2,900 milliamps battery. Other than that, operating software is at 5.1.1 Lollipop while this is a 5.0 Lollipop um, operating system. That doesn't really make a big difference. They even customize this so it actually uh, looks different. They have, the in terms of the icons, if you can see right here, I'll show you. It looks a little bit different. And the screen, I'll be honest, it looks really nice. Uh, the icons are customized. It's not really the 5.1.1 Lollipop. It, it is that operating software, but they just made it, customized it to look different with different icons and, and all that. So at the end of the day, um, if you think about it, this one in terms of, um, of weight, this is way, it weighs a lot more in terms of display. This has a better display, although this has a bigger screen. So in that terms, I think I'll leave it up to you guys to who wins. So that will draw. And in terms of the hardware, this one, in terms of battery life, the, the LG G Stylo one. In terms of price, this will win at 69. But at this point, you, you can say what you want. If you want a, a phone that's actually going to last you a long time and has way better specs, 
just add another 70 bucks and go ahead and get this for the LGG Stylo. And if you don't really care too much about the price, um, you get that. If you do care about the price and you're on a low budget, then go ahead for the 69 for the Alcatel. Thing is, I really don't have too much uh, uh, previous experience with, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I've had a lot of people bring back Alcatel phones. They always have problems, while the LG G Stylo, on the other hand, I barely get any problems or people returning them. One and very important thing that I forgot to talk about is this it has a um, unremovable battery. So if you have any problems with your battery, and that's actually one of the th reasons I did not like Alcatel, the first one they made, Alcatel One Touch Fierce, is because a lot of people were turning it saying if they had problems with their, with their battery, they couldn't change it up. While the LG G Stylo, it's, uh, it's removable, you can change it. If you're running out of battery and you really want juice as soon as possible, you can pop out the battery and put it right back in. At this point, I'm going to leave it for you guys to decide who's the winner. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions and subscribe.